record record all right well thank you for coming today and welcome we're so excited to have you if if this is a brand new experience for you and you haven't met me in the zoom room before my name is jen i'm the mary case specialist here at scipio and i'm so excited to connect with you today and talk to you about another awesome scipio feature and we have with us the beautiful bianca she's here she's Hi. our head of marketing <laughs> And Bianca's always here to tell us all the exciting things that are going on um, with Scipio and our offers and the things that we're doing for everybody. And she is also here to answer questions. So if you have questions while we're doing the demonstration, you can drop those in the chat and we'll get to those. And then after I do the little demo, we will um, just have an open Q&A if you have any questions about what we talked about today or just anything about the Scipio service. So before we get started on the demo, I want to let Bianca talk to you for just a few minutes about an exciting holiday offer. So Bianca, talk to us about that. Yeah. So first we'll back up a little bit. If you have any questions during this webinar, go ahead and throw it in chat, do it in the Q&A, and I will be madly typing away trying to uh, answer you so Jen can uh, go on with the presentation. So you may or may not have noticed this morning, uh, Mary Kate Corporate sent out an email to everyone in uh, the sales force and it included the Scipio holiday offer and I just want to make sure that our Mary Kay customers here at Scipio know exactly what that offer is and I want you to be able to tap in and use it to kill it with your holiday sales. There is never a more important time to connect with your customers or, or maybe your teams if you're a director uh, than during those holidays and Scipio is that tool to reach out on at scale, a mass level, but very individualized. And it's also a really great way to set all of your campaigns and your communication and forget it and let Scipio just run your business while you're off enjoying the holidays with your family. So that's really what we want to do for you. So number one, we have a holiday ebook that we created for you. And it's just a guide to help you learn how to text, what to say, when to say it, what kind of promotions you could use all throughout the holidays, especially on pink weekend. So to get that holiday guide, you can text in to our, uh, we have a Mary Kay um, support number and it's a keyword campaign. So what I'm gonna do is give you the word, it's holiday. If you text holiday to 385-324, 3990, you will get a link to download that holiday ebook. And I will go ahead and I'm going to put this number and the keyword in chats so that everybody can see it. Everything I talk about, I'll put in chats too, because honestly, I don't expect you to remember exactly what I'm saying and write it down. Uh, so when you download that, there are five campaigns. Those are message templates. They tell you everything you need to say. You don't even have to think about it. You can tweak it and change the language to make it uh, in your tone. So we have five campaigns locked, loaded, ready to go. And in the ebook, it will tell you how and when to use those. Now, if you don't need that context and you just wanna import those campaigns right into your Scipio account, you can use the import code PINK WEEKEND. So, uh, if you don't know how to do that, we've got uh, an entire tutorial on how to upload and import campaigns into your account. I'm going to put that in chats as well so that you can take Pink Weekend uh, with a little tutorial and pop it right into your account. Then a message is there ready to go. Next, <laughs> we want, if you are on the free account, you will not be able to import uh, campaigns because you're at your max. You also have a limit on the amount of campaigns uh, that you can have and the limit on the messaging. So we want to make sure you get optimal messaging throughout the holidays. And we want to give you one month free on any paid account. So we have a code for that as well. It's MK Director. And again, I'll put that into the, uh, the notes here. Now you do not have to be a director to use this code. This is for anybody. But what it, it is really helpful for directors because you're able to uh, tap into more integration uh, with the InTouch and, and uh, the groups that you're, you're able to bring in. So with that, you get 1,280 characters in your message count. 
you get unlimited contacts. That means your entire address book and all of the new contacts you're gonna be uh, making over the holiday season, you can upload those into your account. And this is probably the best thing yet. So pay very close attention to the next month. For the next month, you get free overages. So you can text as many people as you want, send as many messages as you want, and you will not be charged. That deal ends on December 1st. Um, so, so many things. You get the holiday guide. You get the five campaign templates. You get a free month on a paid account with so many extra resources. And you get free overages. Message and message and message and keep those connections. So we want to help you kill it in the holiday season. And with that, I'm going to pass it back to Jen and madly type all of these uh, codes. <laughs> into the chat so you can have them yep so she's gonna put that all in the chat and just to um, just so we have total clarity the free overages that's gonna be on paid accounts only so on the free account you are limited to the limitations of free free is really that option to let you get in there dip your toes in test out the Scipio system try it out see how it works and then you kind of just take all those limitations off when you get into those paid plans and there are different um, automated message levels and integration levels for the different paid plans, but it really does open up a lot of options on paid because you do have the larger character count. You do have the unlimited contacts, unlimited campaigns, things like that. So just keep in mind that the free overages are for paid accounts only. And then Bianca is going to drop in all of that information that she just talked about in the chat so that you have time to write it down, take a note. Doing it now. Because <laughs> it's too much information, right? Your brain is... I don't know about you guys. I don't know if it's 2020 or motherhood or getting ready to go into my forties or something, but all of my brain cells have like the half-life of a mayfly. So if you're anything like me, it's hard to just hold on to that information. Okay. So today we're talking about skip links and we decided to talk about skip links because we have a lot of people ask what they are and how they work. Um, in Mary Kay, you don't have as much use for skip link as maybe the average person who uses Scipio because of your integration. But I am going to talk to you today about um, a use case specifically for Mary Kay, a way that you can use it um, and help you to understand better what a skip link is. So first of all, the biggest thing to under understand about a skip link is it's a way to capture um, contact information that you don't already have. And I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. So I can actually actually walk you all the way through the process and you can see exactly how it's done. Let me just get to the right screen here. Okay, so I'm in my Scipio account and I have too many windows open as usual. So I'm looking at too much stuff. Okay, so to get to the skip link spot, you're gonna click on your profile image. And if you haven't uploaded an image, this will just be a little circle with your initials in it in the top right corner of your account. Then you'll go down to skip links. Okay, so I don't have any right here right now and you probably won't either. So this is how we're gonna get started. To add a new skip link, we're just gonna click on the plus button over here on the left. And then that's gonna give us the form to create a new skip link. Okay, so here's my idea about skip links for Mary Kay. As you gather the wish lists for your customers, you want to reach out to the people who are going to be shopping for them, right? You, you need to reach out to their Santas. So we can create a skip link specifically for your customer, then send it to them, send the link to them, and they can send it to the people who want to shop for them. So let's go through that process. First, we would want to set up a skip link. So let's say we have a wish list for a customer named Sarah. So I'm going to call this, um, Santa's for Sarah. And let's see, her last name is Smith. Okay, and then redirect URL gives us an option to send somebody to a website after they fill out the form. So in this case, you'd probably want your Mary Kay personal website. I'm just gonna put MaryKay.com for now. You also could add them to a campaign if you wanted to. And then the contact form body is what they're gonna see when they're actually looking at the link and I'll show you what that's going to look like. So for example, here, I'm just going to write, hi, I'm so excited to help you shop for Sarah this holiday season. Please fill out this contact form and I'll get in touch with you soon to go over Sarah's wish list. 
After you complete the form, you'll be directed to my personal Mary Kay website so you can start browsing. Thank you. So once I have those settings the way I want them, I'm just going to click save. And then it's going to take me to um, the finished uh, skip link and give me the actual link to share. So if I click on copy, it's just going to co copy it to my clipboard. And I can also go down and click on preview so that I can see what it will look like to the people who, who click on the link. So if I click preview, this is what anyone who clicks on the link is going to see. Now, on this web page, it's all in this box because it's really formatted for mobile viewing. Because if you think about it, someone's going to text someone this link and they're going to be looking at this form on their phone. So that's why it looks a little bit different um, on a website because it's formatted for mobile. So this is what they would see. So they would see your image, your phone number, and then that message that we put into the contact form body is showing right there at the top. And then what they're required to do is just put in their first name and their phone number. So let's say I've received this link from someone. Sarah sent me a link and said, hey, um, here's, here's a link where you can fill out your information to get my Mary Kay wish list for Christmas shopping or however they want to say it. So once I've received the link and I've clicked on it, I can fill out this form. I'm going to put like a million fives in here if I can count. Okay. And I'm going to click submit. After I click submit, I'm routed to the Mary Kay website because when I set up that skip link, I told it to send anybody who fills out the form to then send them to a web page, like I said I would. Okay, so that's what they would see when they fill it out. Now, here's the kicker. Let's go back to the account now, click on the address book, and on the left side, we're gonna click on system groups. Now a system group has been generated for Santa's for Sarah. If I click on that group, I can see the contact information of anybody who's filled out that form. Now I can contact those people who may be shopping for Sarah, talk to them about her wish list, and help them with their holiday shopping. So you can see kind of the full circle capture there. So we created this skip link for Sarah's, for the people who are shopping for Sarah. We gave Sarah the link to share with whomever she wanted to. So we sent her a text and we put that link in there. Then when they went to the link, we saw what they'll see, we saw that form. We filled it out. We saw that we were redirected to the Mary Kay website. And now we can see here in, in the Scipio account that the person who filled out that form was automatically put into this group that is the skip link sent us for Sarah. Now, that's if you want to specifically create a skip link for each individual person that you have a wish list for. Let's say you want to make one that's more generic. And let's talk about some other pieces, some other tools in the Scipio system that you can use. So let's go back to the skip links. So we're going to click on the profile, go down to skip links. We're going to create one that's more generic. So we're going to say um, Santa's for customers. Okay, we're going to give the, the redirect, redirect, I can't talk, to your personal website. And then this time, in the form body, we're going to make it a little bit more generic. And I'm also going to add them to a campaign that I've already created called Reach Out to Santa. And I'll show you what's in that campaign in just a minute. So I've set this up. This is not for a specific customer. This is just generically for customers that you have a wish list for. If you didn't want to make one, if you didn't want to make a skip link for each customer. Okay. So I've just made this generic. It says, hello, if you receive this form link, that means someone you love has a Mary Kay wish list saved with me. Please fill out this contact form and I'll get in touch with you soon to go over their wish list and help you with your holiday shopping. After you complete the form, you'll go to my website, etc. So we'll go ahead and save. And then I've got the link here. I'm going to copy it. And I can actually preview it here. And then you'll see that, that that form body is as expected what we filled out there. Okay. So now when someone fills that one out, let me go to the right tab here they will receive this campaign. In addition to going to the Mary Kay website, it's then going to add them to this Reach Out for Santa campaign. And this is just a single campaign with one message that says, hi, first name, I'm really looking forward to helping you with your holiday shopping. Can you send me a quick reply with the first and last name of the person you're shopping for? That's how I'm going to make my generic skip link work because the downside to not creating one for each person is that I don't know who they're shopping for. So that's why I'm then going to use a campaign to get that information. 
In addition to that, you could save a message in your message library or a couple of messages in your message library for further responses that might be common responses to people who are shopping. So for example, actually, I think I did put one in there. Let me go back to my, my share. Let me look at my message library. So to look at your message library, click on the composer, which is the pencil up here that says new message. And then this far right icon is your message library. This is where you can save messages that are frequently used. So I've saved one here called holiday shopping. And somewhere in the course of my conversation with this person who's shopping, I want to let them know when it comes to holiday shopping, my number one priority is providing you with a great experience and excellent service. Every purchase includes a free beauty session for the recipient. I also offer gift wrapping, free delivery, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee on all products. So I don't know exactly where that's going to land in my conversation because I still want my conversation to be spontaneous and personal once I've got that um, once I have it going. But I know at some point I'm going to want to tell them this. So I'm going to save that in my message library because I'm probably going to say it over and over and over again. So with the generic skip link, I've actually used three different Scipio tools. I've used the skip link to capture the, the context information. I've used the campaign to reach out to them after they filled out the form and find out who they're shopping for. And then I've saved something that I know I'm going to use over and over again in my message library. So I can easily drop it into the conversation that I'm having later with this person who's shopping. So that's just using a few of the Scipio features right there in your account to work those holiday wish lists and, and capture those contacts that you don't have yet. So let's see if we have any questions that we haven't answered or if anyone has any questions about what I've just been talking about. I hope that all made sense and it wasn't too fast. <laughs> Jen, one question I want you to talk about while I've, I'm going to pull in some of our past trainings. First, I want to put our general, like our Scipio 101 training for Mary Kay right here in chat. So if this is your first webinar, I highly recommend you watch our Scipio 101 training with Jen. It goes through everything you need to know to get started. And then the second thing, I will put that training in about how to import campaigns into your accounts. But Jen, can you talk about the difference between the plans? Because, you know, we've got mm -hmm. the silver at 24, we do gold at 39, and we have the platinum at 79. And there are huge, like, there's a significant difference, especially where you are in your career. Yep. Because if you are a senior director or above, you really want to be on that gold or platinum plan. And so I'm going to pass that to Jen. You talk about yeah. the difference between those plans. Yeah. So before I do that, I just want to say, if you're brand, brand new, this is more advanced. We're talking about advanced features today. And it's an interesting balance because we don't want to just present new information every week. We want to make sure that we're talking about all the different features of Scipio. But if you're new and you're feeling overwhelmed, it's okay. What will be great is once you've gotten started with Scipio and a little more familiar, familiar, you'll be able to come back to this training and watch it again because it will be on our YouTube channel for you to watch later. So let's talk about those plan levels. So after free, we do have three paid options for Mary Kay users. We have the silver plan at $24 a month, gold is 39 and platinum is 79. The biggest difference you'll notice between those plans is the number of automated messages that are included. And then there's a, there's a jump between silver and gold in the integration. So as far as the integration is concerned, for free and silver users, you'll only see the my customers portion of the in-touch integration, which means if you have a team or a unit, their information is not going to come over to the Scipio account automatically because it's not included on those plans. Once you're into gold or platinum, you're getting the my customers plus the my business portion. So then the big difference between gold and platinum is your number of automated messages. Gold is 1500, platinum is 10,000. That may sound like a lot, but if you're a director or a senior director or a national, you, you know how quickly you can go through those. So I definitely recommend that any director is on at least gold because you do want to get that consultant information and that team information coming over. Um, when you do have the my business portion of the integration under the system groups, you'll see all of the consultants organized by status. And that stays up to date because your integration is up is uh, running a sync every day. So then you're going to constantly see where people are at in their status, which we know that status communication is a big part for directors every month. So you definitely want to be on gold or platinum so you're getting that portion of the integration. Okay. 
Did we have any other questions that haven't been answered or is there anything about that? Yeah, that, I didn't that Santa campaign, that the messaging that you just used, mm -hmm. um, can we share that somewhere with? Yeah. We'll go ahead and uh, we can package it. We could send it, put it, paste it on our Facebook page. I'm not sure where we want it, but I, you know, whenever there's a really good idea, we all want to share it. We're a community. Sure, here, so. sure, sure. That's got a lot of great, great ideas. We want to make sure we get those out. I just, dro I just did drop a copy paste into the chat, but we can package it. And it really is just, just one. So, so, so here's the thing. It's just one message. This is, so this is something I want to share with you, like really from my heart. Just jump in and try things. So with Scipio, it can be a little overwhelming. There's a lot to learn, but it really is an experience thing. So I know that you think we have the best messages. The truth is you have the best messages. You have great things to communicate with your people. So I absolutely love sharing this with you, but you, you know even better how to talk to your customers, your leads, and you do want to take even these message templates that we provide, you know, be, incur be um, empowered to tweak those to the way you sound when you talk. You know, having an automated service is so wonderful, but you still want to make sure it feels really personal when they receive the messaging from you. So don't be afraid to take messages you're given or templates you're given and add your own touch, add um, you know the way that you talk, the way your speech patterns are because that will feel more personal to them because they're familiar with you, if that makes sense. So I, I definitely that. can package that though. You know, every single person here and probably 99% of the people I know, we know how to write a text message. Sure. But even though you may be on a tablet or on your desktop, the, it, it, that's where it becomes overwhelming because you're thinking, okay, it's gonna come out as a text, but I'm producing it here in an app. If you could just envision yourself just texting one person, even though you're texting maybe 100, mm -hmm. imagine one person at the end and ask yourself, how would this look to me if I received this? Right. Is it warm? Is it friendly? Does it look like it was sent to just me? Because right. that's the goal. We want to Scipio people. And that right. means you send a mass text and they have no idea it was automated. So right. the more personal you are, the better these relationships with your customers will be. And that's what mm -hmm. you want. Mm -hmm. And here's my number one tip for all Scipio users. Put yourself into your Scipio account as a contact with your cell phone number and run yourself through any campaign or any process that you're going to use Scipio for and see it come in your phone as if you were the customer, as if you were the one receiving it and think of how, how would you feel? How would you respond if you received it? If it feels too technical or too system like, um, you don't want people to feel like they're in an automated system. You still want them to know there's a real person on the other side. So send those messages that you 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 wrote this great message because you've got a keyboard in front of you, right? So you just you wrote a fabulous message. Now send it to yourself and see what it really looks like and how it feels. Does it feel like it's coming from a person? And if it doesn't, you may want to personalize that message even more because you will 100% have more success when people feel like they're being personally communicated with rather than they're getting blasted or you know there's a system that's sending them messages. So that's my number one tip. Put yourself in as a contact and send those messages to yourself. Try everything on yourself. Then you get to see how they really see it when it comes through on their phone. What does that feel like? Does it feel personal? If it doesn't, you might want to make some adjustments to it for sure. Yeah, I always test my messages to myself. I've been using Scipio for years. I have helped directors write campaigns. I've helped directors with the communication. I still send everything new to myself. Before this webinar, I tried all this stuff to myself. because <laughs> I want to know, like, how does it really sound? How does it really look as the recipient, not the author? So I still do that. Still do that. Okay, did we have any questions about today or anything that didn't get covered? There's one thing I wanna to say to Cecilia. Uh, we have 
a Spanish group for Scipio, for Mary Kay Scipio. And uh, the they have a Facebook group and all of our videos that are in Spanish, our demo videos, our training videos, our e-guides, our e-books, uh, message templates campaigns, they're all there. And uh, it's, uh, it's facebook.com slash groups slash Scipio Espanol. I'm going to write that here in comments. But this, uh, our Mariana, our Scipio expert, she has also created a text support line for you. So if you're on this chat or if you're here in this webinar and you know somebody within your group that speaks Spanish that does not has not yet tapped into our Spanish group, please let them know that this is available. I and mean, we have one dedicated person just here for you for that, that reason. So I'll go ahead and post her number in there. It's a text only number, it is Scipio. You could call it, <laughs> but a text would be best. So I'll, I'll get her name, it's Mariana, and this is her phone number. Go ahead, text her, she'll get you everything you need to know in Spanish. Great, yes. I wanted to go back to Esther's question about adding pictures to text. So one thing we really recommend with images is that they are 1.5 meg in size or smaller. Um, it's possible that an image bigger than that will send, but that's when we start running into issues with them not sending successfully. So whenever you're adding an image, you really wanna make sure it's 1.5 meg or smaller. And then as far as how to attach pictures, let me actually just bring you right back on my screen real quick so that I can show you. So when I'm in the composer, this icon here is for images or video. So if I just click on that, then I can click here and select a file from my computer to upload. Um, it looks similar on the mobile app. You just click on that little icon and then you're allowed to um, bring your picture in from your phone there. Now we do have a few Android users who are being affected by a, a picture image on the mobile app. That's something that our tech team is actually in the process of fixing right now. And we're expecting that to be resolved in the next few days. So if that's you, just know that that solution is coming. We're working on it. There are just a few people who are on Android that have been affected by that. But everyone should have no problem attaching and sending images from the desktop version for sure. And you'll just want to make sure that that image size is 1.5 meg or smaller. OK. Was there anything else? Thank you. I just, I, wanted, everything. I just wanted to mention, in case you think of something right after we finish because that's usually when i think of things is right after it's too late please join us on the mary Kay facebook page and bianca if you could drop that um address in here yeah. too. if Going you are to not on the mary Kay facebook page already please join we post information there there's community support there you can reach out to us through um, direct message on facebook messenger um and we definitely want you there we want you sharing your success and and sharing with us you know what you're doing with Scipio and how it's going. So please join that page if you haven't already. Yeah, and I just want to reach out to Esther who's on this. I know sometimes it can feel overwhelming. I promise you, years ago when I started with Scipio, I didn't get it was hard for me too. And I was in marketing here. Yeah. Uh, I want to invite you to go to that Facebook group and click the Zoom room link and get some time with Jen one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, she's there from I think nine nine to twelve daily. Go there, tell her where you're stuck, she'll get you through. And anyone's welcome to join that group uh, and come in and meet with Jen there. But it, sometimes it just helps asking your specific questions and showing exactly where you're stuck. And it could be one teeny little obstacle. And once you get over that, you're in and you're going. And we wanna get you there before the holidays, before Pink Weekend. Yes, yep, I am there Monday through Friday from nine to noon mountain time. And it's just our Zoom link. It's at the top of that Facebook page. And it is a group chat. So you might come in and it's just me and you, or there might be some other people in there, which is great because you can learn from what other people are asking. Um, so please feel free to come in during that time. We can connect one-on-one. -on -one, we can screen share and figure out what's going on and, and help you get things resolved or help you learn more about how to use the different parts of the system. Yep. So we have a couple more questions. I don't want to close this down quite yet. Okay. I am posting in the chat. So this is for, uh, I believe, Shannon. Um, this is a YouTube playlist to all of our Mary Kay training videos. The very first one that we have posted in here is called Scipio 101, and that's where Jen walks through 
uh, the accounts. And I posted the entire playlist here because I think you'll find several other videos of value that may answer specific questions because Scipio 101 really is a general starter point, starting point. So um, the, I sent that to everybody and Shannon, I'll go ahead and send that link again to you. And we do have one more question. Can I delete a message on my app? Jen, why don't you take that? You, you, you know what, once it's sent, you can't. I wish that you could. I totally understand why everyone wants to clean their conversations, their lists and everything. We're actually required by law to keep records of conversations for I think it's five years. So we're not, we're just not able to delete messages once they've been sent. Um, if for some reason, if for some reason you're getting messages from someone you don't want, someone got your number and you don't want to be hearing from them, if you delete that contact, you'll stop seeing those messages come in. Um, yeah, but we're true. not able to delete message history. If you do receive some kind of spam, some of these phone numbers, I even get this on my own personal cell phone number. It, it was out in the world somewhere with someone else at some point and I'll get a message I don't want. I can delete the contact. You can, and Skippy, you can delete the contact message is gone forever, but we are required by law because this is a business communication platform. We have to keep the messaging. Right. And Shannon, don't be sorry for questions. That's a hundred percent why we're here. We, we love giving a demo of a feature, but we really also just want to be able to connect with you. We want you to feel like you can come on and we're hoping that multiple people benefit from the answers to your questions. And probably a lot of people have the same ones you do. So don't feel bad at all. Do Elaine, I have to create this is a, a good question. Really good. Do I have to create a new campaign for every new group I add? For instance, if I have leads from area A and leads from another area, do I create a campaign for each group or can I create a campaign for leads? Okay, so let's talk about campaigns just a little bit. So campaign, think of it like Bianca said, as a message template. It's a set of messages that's ready to send. So the timing for the messages is based on when the contact or contacts are added to the campaign. So let's say you have a group of leads and you want to send them the campaign, you go ahead and do that. Then you get a new group and you want them to get the campaign as well. You just use the same campaign. You're just going to add them right to it. And then the timing for them is totally based on when they were added. So nothing's disrupted by the people who are somewhere along the line in the campaign further on. You just keep using that template. It's just a template of prepared messages that are ready to go. And then that timing will be based on when the contact is added. So you won't need to create a campaign over and over again. You'll just add the contacts when you're ready to add them. Great. Grace, thank you for the feedback. Yes. We love campaigns too. <laughs> the other thing I wanted to mention that we haven't talked about yet that everyone gets really tired of me plugging, I'm sure, is the resource center. It's right on the front of your account. So if you're already into your account, you don't know how to get there, just click on the Scipio logo. And it's going to drop you right into that resource center that's full of helpful articles and tutorials. And you think, oh, I don't want to read through everything, which I totally get because I'm a visual experience learner and I know some of you are too. But what I love about the resource articles is they walk you, the resource center articles, is they walk you step by step. They have screenshots, which is really helpful for those of us who are visual. And you can refer back to them even when it's not business hours and we're not around to help. So you can go to that resource center and type in campaign in the search bar and it's going to pull up every article that's that has to do with campaigns. So if you get stuck on something or you're not sure about something, you don't have time to go to the Zoom room or you're in the car waiting for the kid at soccer and you're just looking on your phone, go to that resource center. You can see those articles, walk through those and refer back to them again and again until you're comfortable. Yep. Okay. All right. I I think we got all the questions. So I think we're going to close for today. If you think of something after the fact, connect with us on Facebook. I'll be back tomorrow morning in the Zoom room. Feel free to pop in there and say hi and let's talk. And again, just thank you for your time. Thank you for being here with us. We're yeah. so excited for you going into the ex most exciting selling season of the year, right? So we're here. We're excited to provide this tool for you. We're excited to teach you how to use it. So thank you again and have a really great day. Bye, everybody. Thank you, everyone.